almost no, no studio today. No studio. Good too, how do you go? <clears throat> Tranquilo, you have to try it properly, right? Now are you? Now are you? They don't like it, shit, because I'm going to do it now. No studio time today, no studio. I'm not doing studio today. I'm on protection mode today. I'm not doing I'm not doing the studio, I'm not doing the podcast today. All that was supposed to be done today, I'm not doing that today. Ah, that's a coach and tons of okay. That's a bueno. I said pray for a nigga. I said pray for a nigga. If my heart gets any colder, I'ma end up with no friends. Uh, let me start that. My fault, my fault. What's good, sis? Love y'all too. Yo, um, now nah, I wanna say a few things real quick. Um, um, just a little preview, but nah, I'm not, I'm not calling y'all about music today, though. Um, I'm just playing y'all something real quick. I'm not playing the whole song, I'm not playing none of that. I'm deleting this live probably later on. I'm really want to give y'all a message. I'm really hearing y'all for a message. I'm gonna enjoy it to the fullest. Yeah, I got this project coming out. That's your shit right there. Here you go. I'm about to change it out. Since that's your shit right there, I'm going to play this one then. Now tell me this your shit too so I can change it too. Now chilling, my brother. Chilling. Now what's good? Now I, I, I'm really, really, really... I'm hearing, I'm hearing y'all out for other for, for something really important though. Um, as y'all already know, that kid um, Pop Smoke. Count that as a lesson. That kid pop smoke, right? That got killed. You know, I was just watching some blogs and um stuff like that. And um I hear somebody saying they got a whole bunch of stories coming out, this and that, and blah blah blah. And a lot of the shit I guarantee you, probably ninety percent of the shit everybody's saying is true. Yeah, everybody always got their cons- conspiracy theories, whatever you call that and all that. You know what I mean? Now, what's going on is this though. It's something just clicked in in my head. I made a comment on it, and, and on, the, on whoever channel that was. Si este se me soy yo, um, and uh, ese soy yo primo, and um, I start seeing that Pop Smoke knew he was being followed, and whoever he spoke to last, like he then near had tears in his eyes, and because he felt like he was being followed, like I kind of believe that. I'm, I'm giving y'all me as a, as a friend, as a enemy, whatever you want to place me under. Um, yeah, just last night, act, but not actually, actually two nights ago, I had an incident. Uh, so I don't, I don't want to say too much. Uh, there's some individuals I ended up having to do protect my land, put it like that. If you know what I mean, I have to protect my land, and um, I'm pretty sure there was just some lame shit. But at the end of the day, still, like I, I take my family, my my family protection, everything. I take everything serious. But anyway, this shit really is really it's not about that. It's it's about in the future. If you ever, especially if you're in the streets, right? If you ever feel like um. You, oh yeah, yeah, I gotta show the logo, you know what I'm saying? I gotta show my logo. I gotta do that. If you ever feel like when you're about to experience death, and I know it sounds crazy, but if you're ever gonna experience death, or you're gonna be near like death, or you're gonna experience something close to it, you always feel that in the air. If I don't know if it makes sense to you guys. 
it, 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 you feel it in the air. You can tell what's so bad is going to happen. It's like something in you is telling you, get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. You're, you're in danger. You're in danger. And a lot of times we ignore them feelings because we think we good. Oh, we know it all. I'm only around people I know. Oh, I'm good. I'm chilling. No, especially when you're around people you know. That's definitely when you're not safe because you don't know who's behind t texting and... Yo, he right here. Oh, look, he got this much on him. Oh, yo, he doing this. This is why I move how I move. I don't tell nobody. How you doing, Jen? I don't tell nobody what I'm doing, where I'm at, how, where I'm going to be at, what's supposed to happen, what I got coming up, what am I working on? Because the less people know about you, the less hate you attracting. The more you do that, putting stacks to your ears and all that, and look, you, you thinking you're motivating other people, but in all reality, you're building jealousy for yourself. But that's not really what I hit y'all for. It's just, um, when, you get, when you get a bad vibe about a place, doesn't matter where you at. Even if it got nothing to do with you, you get a bad vibe, and, and like son's telling you, yo, get out of there. But things keep holding you back in the same place. Like for, for an example, I can't speak too much about when I got shot, my situation, because like I said, that's still an open case to this day. Uh, nobody went to jail for it. Uh, nobody, police tried to threaten me. They put me in jail behind that shit. They, they, they try to offer me all kind of deals so I don't got to go back to jail. Uh, I mean, so I don't got to go to jail. And I still ended up, I went and I did my three years. Reed Spencer, that's my guy right there. I used to be, used to be my Sully too up there. Um, and you know, I went and did my time. Fuck it, I, I kept my mouth shut. It is what it is. This is what comes with the game. Like, you know, when you out there and you in the streets and you, and, and you where there's music or whatever it is that you're doing, this is what comes with the territory, man. Like, you got to accept it one way or another. If you can't accept that, if, if, if that's not what you're into, then, you know, get your ass out of there. Get your ass off the street. Don't get involved in some shit, you know what I mean? Because you, you're risking your life and you're risking your freedom and you're going to cause nothing but pain to the people you love that really care for you, which is going to be your kids, your mother, your sisters, your brothers, your blood brothers. Because... Friends, yeah, they're going to mourn, they're going to be in pain, they're going to be crying, they're going to get in depressed mode. But real quickly, that shit goes away fast. That don't last long. Your mother's cry, your children's cry, your brother's cry, your blood brother's cry, your, 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 you know saying, your family's cry, that lasts a lifetime. That never going away. Like, that's going to be for life. Those are the people you're really hurting, you know? When, when, when you go through shit like this. So if you ever in a place and you get this feeling that some, something is telling you, yo, get the fuck out of there. Yo, you're in danger right now. Even though you don't see it at that moment, take that sign. Take advantage of it. Because you can smell death in the air. That shit is serious. Like that smell of death in the air, that shit is real serious. That shit is not no myth or whatever y'all want to call it. That shit is real. It's really real. It's a weird feeling. Like my the day I got shot, I had the the weirdest feeling I ever had in my life. It's like a I argue with my wife, yo. We had a big fight, and that was almost our last conversation we had. If I would have never woke up at the coma, but you, there's always signs out there telling you get out of there. It's just some people ignore it and, and just want to be there. And, oh fuck that! I'm a stand up guy. Ain't nobody running me out of there. No, ain't nothing real about you in the casket. I mean, yeah, that's reality it happens, but ain't nothing real. Nothing real about you being in the casket, laying in the casket, being in the burial, or, or whatever the case is, you know? Nothing real about that, though. Your life is real. That's what's real. Your children's love is real. Your mother's love is real. Your, your sister's brothers, your nephew's sister, all that. That's real love. But all that from the street, though, you don't got nothing to prove to nobody at the end of the day. You don't. You don't got to prove nothing to nobody. You don't own nothing to nobody. You get what I'm saying? You're your own man. Because like I said, at the end of the day, those same people that's going to cry for you out there, that so-called friends, that shit goes away quick. People forget. Next person going to die. And then, then we move on to the next person. And then you go with the next person. You know what I mean? You take that feeling, like whatever feelings you get. And, and I can't even explain it to you because it's just weird. Like I had a real weird, weird vibe that day. Like like I was listening to, I remember that shit. I was listening to um 
Same day I got shot, I'm listening at um, Life After That, Biggie. And I remember that I kept playing that song, You Nobody Until Somebody Kill You. And literally, I kept playing that shit all day, me and my little brother jamming that shit in the car, driving around Allentown on my bench. We chilling, stunting, windows all down. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, let everybody see me. Yeah, you see me on the bench, nigga. That's the attitude I had that day. And I ain't give a fuck. And I had always carry a gun with me anyway. And still and all, it's like that weird vibe. And, and I ain't understand the meaning of that song until after that night. When I woke up out the cold and I started listening, I'm like, nobody. And literally, a lot of other shit started making sense to me in a different way. You know? That that we don't shit that we don't realize. So a lot of the, a lot of the messages is in on the music, not just mine. Everybody else's music, we just don't catch it. We just think, oh, that's a hard ass line. Uh, but really, they be meanings behind that shit. Like a lot of rappers, they telling you their whole life story and, and, and life situations and how to get out of certain shit. We just we just don't catch it. Like we we too ignorant about it. Like we you know we don't understand it at that moment. It's all right to. Do your research and ask people like, yo, what does this mean? What do you mean by that? You know, ask questions. You know what I'm saying? Because this is going on right now. Yo, Brandon, chillin', my guy. You already know. Y'all got to, like, trust me. Follow your vibe. Follow your sign. I don't want to hear that you good. Oh, uh, oh, I'm good. I, I only chill with my niggas. No, you could be with your own man, nigga, and your old man get into some shit. Then now you the target, too. And boom, both of y'all get killed. Or your man could do some other shit on his own out there that you got no knowledge of, or you probably got knowledge of it, and you thinking, well, I wasn't there when that happened, so I'm cold clear. No, you're not, nigga. You're not clear, too. Because that so-called person you call your brother, you my man till we die, yes, his problem becomes your problem, too. If you're a target, you're a target. Because your name somewhere, somehow, is going to be brought up to chilling, Brandon. You already know, my brother. Chilling, you know. But... I'm just explaining something because I just I was just watching something about Pop Smoke and um and like I said I was I was not a big fan of him I'm not I'm not one of these niggas oh damn oh if you look at all his streams go up and you know, everything went up now this record label this is what they sign the niggas like that yo killer kill shoot shoot bang bang they signing you for a reason because they know your days are the days are number and they gonna be the ones benefiting from it you know. While their kids is going, you putting their kids to college and all that other dumb shit and all that, and boom, then you there, then your family getting a small check out of it and all that, and they getting all the breath from it. That's why it's good to stay independent, man. Don't go out chasing that big deal, man, because if you're not meeting the expectation and you're not polluting your own people and you're not talking about robbing, chewing, and killing, they're not really going to pay attention to you. <clears throat> Excuse me, because that's all people want to hear nowadays. And it's us. We the ones that support that, you know? But it's really, really what I'm speaking about is vibes right now. Like, literally, of the vibes. Like, when you in situations, man, like, even if I had nothing to do with you, you could be at a barbershop. You could be at a fucking, at the store. Or I'm going to go to the store. Let me go get a Dutch or whatever. Is the, what y'all like rolling? Y'all y'all like um fusion and all that dumb shit? Let me get a, I'm just going to get a fusion real quick. The store gets robbed. Boom. You're in the mix of that shit. Boom, you're a victim now. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to learn, like, and the nighttime is not a play. Like, I keep thinking the nighttime, that's when a lot of shit happened at night. A lot. When I got shot in my shooter, it was nighttime. It was like 1045 at night. And everything you read on the newspaper, don't believe it, because my whole newspaper article, that was like crazy. I was reading some of this shit like, what? And then and the shit that killed killed me the most wasn't really what the news reporter did, cause that's their job. It was the people commenting under the shit, under the website. Cause at that time there was no really social media like that. Um my Mount my, MySpace had just started hitting. And when I read the comment that I'm hearing, oh good for the motherfuckers, oh they wanna sell be selling drugs, gang, this oh they fucking up the town. That shit hurting me, I'm gonna be honest with you. To the point that I was like, yo, I kept looking at their pictures. I say, if I ever see one of y'all in the street, I'm going to slap fire out of y'all for that. Because y'all don't even know. But you know what? I had to hold my composure because this is what comes with the game. I didn't comment. I didn't say nothing. I kept it to myself. And I kept the pushing. You know what I mean? But vibes is very important in life, yo. They get you through things.
Wow, it could save you. It could save your life without you even knowing. Have you ever been at a spot or or heard somebody like some shit happen? Somebody died somewhere, and they they be like, "Damn, that's crazy! I was just there." That was somebody watching over you that told you, yo, get the fuck. You probably got that sign like, yo, hurry up and buy and get the fuck out of here. Because she's about to go down. You know what I mean? And and that's what I'm, what I'm trying to speak to some of you guys. And this ain't just for the youth. This is for the older. Because older people, too, y'all can relate to this, too. You got to listen to your vibes, yo. It's all in the air. You can smell death in the air. You can smell trouble. You can smell everything happening. Trust me. Learn from me. I'm going to take a picture one day with no shirt on. And you're going to see I got a thousand scars all over my stomach. All this shit from me from when I went through surgery and everything I went through. I live this shit. I live this life. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I know what that gang life takes you. I know what you do. It gets you nowhere. You're going to be the one hurting at the end of the day. You and your family. And your brother's going to visit you to your grave. And there's not going to be too many people that's going to be on your grave. Because you might go to your brother's grave side and you could tell that nobody been there in over, over a year or two. That shit hurts more. But they'll quick to post you and, and all this shit. I'm telling you, man, on vibes are serious. And I was listening that Pop Smoke had a vibe that he was being followed. And, you know, and a lot of shit. And honestly speaking, I could believe that shit. I really could believe that. Because I felt funny about it with, with that last week like, that I was. I remember me telling my little brother, like, yo, this is our last pack we're flipping. Like, we out of here. We're getting the fuck out of here. We're going to change our life. We were about to open up a tattoo shop, a barber shop, and we was going to try to do a club, too, all at once. And I was like, yo, we're going we're gonna to keep moving. We're going to prolong it. We're going to buy a house. We're going to keep moving up. And, yo, that shit was stopped short in a matter of a minute. And like I said, I had that vibe. I wanted to get out of there. But certain individuals, which I'm not going to say no names over here, which I never told nobody ever this shit except for my real close ones. It was certain individuals that kept me waiting there for a punk-ass fucking 20 or fucking A's just so I could go. Because I have, I had plenty of we at my house at that moment, but I'm sitting there waiting on a punk-ass 20 or fucking A's just so I could smoke a blunt on the way home. Because I was that thirsty off a of blunt. A fucking blunt. Maybe it could have happened a different way. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that it could have not happened. But I know that that same exact night that I got shot, I could have got away from it. And I was trying to. But situations, that was go everything that was going on at that moment kept me there longer than, what, than I should have been. And the next thing you know, that's when all hell broke loose. And I can't say no more than that because, like I said... I'm not gonna put nobody on blast. I'm not gonna incriminate myself. I'm not gonna do police job for them. They get paid the big bucks for that. That's y'all fucking do it. I don't get paid for I'm not a detective. I do detective work when it comes to my family. Somebody do something to my family, I'm gonna wanna know who the fuck it is and who's out there and all that shit. That's, that's, that's how I do my own work. But them, let them do whatever the fuck they got to do. You know what I mean? That's just how it goes. Just two nights ago, I had a crazy night. I'm telling you, I haven't slept in two days. I'm being real with y'all right now. I haven't slept in two days. Only very few of y'all know. I don't need to tell y'all why. There's a lot of shit been going on lately out here right now. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it always takes for... A, like, all these artists, they go on platinum, getting millions of views, but they dying. They not even getting to enjoy and see their money. And then you got people that's like, oh, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to, maybe not want to rap no more. Bro, learn what you're getting into. This is what comes with the game. This is what, what else you think this is? A, a, a happy ending? A, a Cinderella story? You're going to meet the right girl, she going to buy your perfect size pair of Jordans. She going to put them on you. Oh, my God, my favorite colors. Oh, we going to get married now. Let's go. What you think? Oh, do you think that's how it's going to end? No, it's not going to fucking end like that, dog. It's going to end up you dead or somebody close to you going to die. And it's going to kill your whole spirit and vibe. And it's going to make you look at life a lot different. And a lot of people's lyrics is going to make sense to you. And a lot of other shit is going to make sense to you. And you going to be the one paranoid. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, life's not a game. Life is not a game. And a lot of people really be thinking that you, you're not untouchable, though. You ain't untouchable. I'm not untouchable. 
Anybody could get touched. Listen to your vibes. Listen to your vibes. And my brother Danny, look, they tell you I was on my way to go get him. I was gonna bring him up here. I told him, yo, but as soon as you come up here, I'm get you a crib. You're gonna move up here with us. Very same day, I was coming out there to get him. And I remember telling him, like, yo, bro, I'm gonna leave that for tomorrow because I have some shit to handle that day. I should have just went to get him. But at the end of the day, you can't live life on the sorrow and and depress yourself. And 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 you get what I'm saying? None of that. You know what I mean? It was young, yo. I was young. I was only 23 years old, dog. 23 years old. That just knew the streets and since 13 years old. I was only 23 when I got shot. And I thought I knew it all. And to this day, I'm like, damn. Because I ain't the only one who suffered, though. My kids suffer behind the shit, too. You know? They had to witch me. They was the ones watching me. Carmen Perez, how you doing, sweetheart? Thank you. They the ones who got to suffer through that. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Uh, I'll talk to you in the field. Yeah, but you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm on live. Can't talk like that way. But you get what I'm saying? Family suffer, yo. I'm telling you. It, it's Listen to your vibes, man. Listen to your vibes. And when certain people tell you certain things, man, just pay attention, man, because a lot of people, nobody want to try to bust your ch the balls or, or, or make your life impossible or, or, or treat you like you don't know. Like you just a kid. No, no, they not trying to teach you like that. You getting the message all wrong, though. The message is trying to keep you alive so you can have a family, so you can take care of your family. That's really what the message is about. You know what I mean? Trust me, yo. Listen to your feelings. Listen to your feelings. When you're in certain situations, especially if you're not on your comfort zone, and no, nowhere outside, nowhere should be your comfort zone, not even in your own home. You should never be comfortable in your own home. Nowhere, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Life is not a game. It's not a game. This is not a game. And I say it again, it's not a game, man. I'm just trying to give y'all some game, man. Because a lot of you guys, man, like, hasn't experienced that yet. I just know somebody who went through it, but it's a, it's a different story from you seeing somebody going through it and the actual person going through it. You know what it's like to have it, having to learn how to walk again? Like, do you know what that feels like, having to walk again? Or how about, have, uh, how about, and I'm gonna speak real reckless with this one. How about having to learn how to take a shit again out your ass? I don't think y'all know what that's like. So, unless you've been through that same shit, you don't know what that feels like. You know? Or your family, you can't do or certain things. You'd be like, damn, if this would have never happened to me, my kids would have never had to experience this. Bro, it happens, though. Bad vibes, like that said, bad vibes is everywhere. This shit is everywhere. It's everywhere. Like, look, today I was supposed to go to the studio. We are supposed to do the podcast. And like I said, I don't tell people what I'm doing no more. But that's what I was, that's where I'm supposed to be at right now. But a little incident that happened two nights ago made me know. Because I'll never forgive myself anything happened to my family. No. I just hope y'all understand what I'm saying. And, and look, sometimes, yeah, it's a lot of fake love out there right now. But I'm hearing pop smoke name everywhere, like YouTube, Facebook. And I don't be on that for that long, but I'm seeing it everywhere. His numbers is going to skyrocket by 700,000. Like, you know what I'm saying? 700%, like his video, everything going up. Like, and look, that poor man, he was on his way up, but it took for him to die. And like I said, sign to a label. This is what the labels want from you. This is why it's best to stay independent sometimes. This is what this label wants. They want you to talk that killer shit. Oh, do this and oh, he's perfect. I love him. Yeah. He talk about kill. Oh, yeah. Take, I bring him in. That's how, this, that's how they are. That's what they want you to do. And you're not seeing them of that. You're not. And yes, there's other very successful artists too. Like you got the baby, little baby, little duck, and little nut. But this ain't, they not icons yet. Now, if they used to get killed tomorrow, which I don't wish that for nobody, and I don't even want to say it like that, that's just an example. They become legend. Literally within a week, they're going to be legends. Nipsey Hussle, he didn't get to experience what life was. 
at all. He didn't get to experience. He didn't get to see the fruits from, from his, that he built. He didn't get to see that. Same thing. I'm just giving you, it, it keeps going. Last two years, that's what it's been like. It's not going to make me stop doing music. It's not. But th this is what I'm getting into right now. It's either I'm going to do music or I'm going to go heavy in the streets. And if I go heavy in the streets, sir, a lot of you people not going to eat. I promise you that. I'm, I'm going to take a lot of food out of people's mouth. And that's not the route I want to go about. That's not who I am no more, though. I did that shit years ago as a kid. I'm a whole different person right now. I don't do those. You know what I'm saying? I'm here helping the youth right now. That's where I'm at. I'm helping them, try to help them become artists, let, try, showing them, understand what they're getting into. I'm working on my own project. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Reese, you're right, my brother. Now, I'm just trying to tell them, like, you know what I mean, Reese? You're right. We can, you, he right. I, I respect the text that you sent me, and I'm not going to say why he texts me because... He just texts me some real shit, and it's because he know me personally, and he could talk to me like that too. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to help y'all, man. Like literally, y'all. Like I really, 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 really want to help you guys, and so y'all can understand me. I don't want to see nobody else go through shit like this, man. Like it's not, it's not worth it. It's not. If this what you in the music business, your life's not worth for that. Your, it's not. You're not worth for it. Your life is worth way more than that. It's worth more than that. Stay to yourself, man. Listen to your vibes, man. Listen to your vibes. Don't trust nobody. 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 I got a lot of people I got fuck with, but it's only very few I trust, though. You know what I mean? And it's cause, and no disrespectful, because I'm going to be honest with you. 85% of the people I don't trust like that got no bad intention towards me. Let, let's make that clear. I'm making that clear. 85% of the people, I don't, I, they got no hard feelings towards me. They don't want to harm me. They don't want nothing. But this is the mentality I got since, since I got shot 12, 13 years ago. This is my mentality now. You got to move around like the people, everybody wants you. And it's sad because you shouldn't be living like that. You're supposed to be living your life happy, everybody. You know what I'm saying? You guys, you know what I mean? Now, I respect that, um, Reese. I, trust me, I'm going to reply to your message. As soon as I hang this thing, I'm calling you right away. You know? I'm just seeing the fake love sometimes that they get as people and what it takes for people to realize sometimes, like, damn, like, that, that, that guy wasn't supposed to go out like that, you know? Some of these artists put their heart and soul into this shit. But not everybody support them while they live it. They'll rather go with the other dude. And he's like, yo, we've been losing a lot of people the past two years. At least two years. It, st it started well. What's that kid's name? Um, Tech X X Tentacion? I think if I correct me if I'm wrong, it started from right there, right? Who else before that? I, I can't even think of anybody before that. It went from him, then it was somebody else, then it was Nipsey, and then everything in the chain reaction, man. And hip hop and rap is the only genre that 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 goes through this. Cause you bachata, salsa, um hip hop, R and B, I mean not hip hop, R and B, R they don't really go through that. They don't. Oh, juice word at the beginning of the year. Look at that. Popped a whole bunch of pills. Carmen Perez, I don't know what you're going through, me man. Uh, I'm alright, I'm Carmen Perez. Just uh, bien, mamita. Trust me, I'm alright. I'm I'm blessed. I'm I'm alive. I'm breathing. I'm good. That's all I I can't ask for no more. I'm just speaking about, you know, about bad vibes. You know that sometimes it happens, and they don't even gotta be in the music, man. It could be on, it could be anything, man. Like I say, you could be at the supermarket. Sometimes I'm gonna give you another example. One day, let's just say you wake up late for work. Boom, you getting dressed fast as fast as you can. You run outside the door. Fuck, I got a flat. Now I got to run to the flat fix to get my shit fixed. Boom, you go get a flat fix. Boom, from there. Now you like an hour and some change late. But you still made it to work. But guess what? On the way to work, you end up finding out that it was a bad accident on the highway. And like six people died. And that's what you missed. 
can't don't live in a hurry, man. Life, you sometimes you can't be in a hurry. Cause look, sometimes God work or God who are higher power, they they work in mysterious ways. That's they be they be saving us from stuff like that. So you know when if you're running late, man, there's a reason why. Always, always look at it that way. Don't get and look at Kobe. Kobe another one too. That one too. And I, I was never Kobe, bro. I always ruled really against yo. Kobe always took my money. I hated him for that. Always took my money. I always bet it against whoever when they went against Philly, when they went against the Celtics. And I'm not even a Celtics fan. And I always went against Kobe, and he always took my money. And that one time I I bet it. I didn't bet. I, I ain't bet against him. He fucking lost. That's when he lost to the Celtics. But you get what I mean? We're losing a lot of people right now. We got to be, you know, we, we, we got to be, just enjoy life, man. Enjoy it. And, and, and you know, and, and act like the whole world is against you on how you move. You know, that's all I'm saying, man. Like, I just had to say this, man. Like I said, I was reading the comment section and watching some of these bloggers. And like I said, sometimes I be like, Man, they, I, I doubt that's how it even happened. Doc, you say one more slick shit about the Celtics, I'm going to fucking block you, though. Completely off of social media. Off. You ain't even going to be able to say him that. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Frank Finesse, another dude from my hood. Hold your head, bro. You still in the hood too out there. The shit ain't a game out there. Where we come from, not too many make it out. And you know that. You know that. Everybody loves you. But they don't want you to do better than them. Uh, that's for sure. I can tell y'all that. You know what I'm saying? But we got to be mindful, though. We losing too many people right now. And just listen to your gut feelings, man. Just listen to it. That's all I'm asking y'all to do, man. It's just like out of love. And I'm saying this out of love because I fuck with y'all. Even if we didn't know me personally, I fuck with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I'm going to call you tonight, baby, bro. Uh, but you get what I mean? I'm just telling y'all, I've been through this shit, so I know what it feels like. You be, that, that shit that they say, death is in the air, you really smell that shit. That shit. And it's not like an order, order type of shit. It's just like everything moves fishy and in slow motion. And, and it's like, yo, I, I, I can't even explain it, man. Just listen to your instincts, yo. If you feel unsafe and unhappy, get the fuck out of there. Just go. Don't wait on nobody. Don't let nobody talk you into stay there for an extra five minutes. No, get out of there. Yo, I'm out of here, bro. Move every day like if your life is in danger, even if it's not. This how this old school niggas made it this far from the 80s and the 70s. This why they stood alive, because they was moving like that. They probably experienced shit like that, and boom, they caught on real quick. No. Just hold your head, man. That's really, really all I'm hitting y'all for. Hold your head and follow your gut feelings, man. Follow your gut feelings and keep yourself. It'll keep you. Trust me, it'll, it'll, it, it, it might save your life. And you might thank me one day texting me like, yo, bro, thanks you for the advice. I needed to hear it. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying, man. Like, literally, that's all I wanted to tell you. So, you know what I mean? And besides that, like, I, I got a whole young little crowd of artists right now. We teaming up. We're trying to get a whole Red Hook movement too now, you know? And you know, like, like I said in this track right here, never see Losses, they, I don't never take L's, I take lessons. You hear it right there, and I'ma cut it right there short for you, right there. You see it right there, never see me take an L. Count that as a lesson. I keep that for protection, I'ma stop it right there. I'm stopping it right there. Now, I just want y'all to be safe, though, my guys. Like, look, this for all of you guys. Stay safe, man. You know what I'm saying? Stay alive. I don't want to lose nobody else and shit. I don't even, I don't even want to see that. 2020 started crazy already. Real crazy. A lot of people going. A lot of legends. You know, stay, just stay safe, man. Listen to your gut feeling. I don't know. Sonny just told me to tell you guys this. That's all I wanted to say, though. Be safe.